For the first time tonight, we're hearing from the family of a man severely hurt in a Turlock hit and run. Two people were arrested in connection to the case, including a teen boy who was allegedly told to leave the scene by a family member. CBS 13's Renee Santos spoke to the victim's father and aunt, who says he is a walking miracle. It's an interview you'll see only on CBS 13. He heard me. He heard our prayers. And he squeezed my hand. Tomas Trejillo can't help but get emotional reimagining the moment when his son Tommy gave him a sign that he was going to make it. We truly believe a miracle has happened. From that moment, they say the miracles kept flowing. Doctors at first telling Tomas he wouldn't be able to talk over the phone or if he would ever fully recover. But Tommy proved them wrong. In the background, Renee, I could hear him say, I heard my dad's voice. It was back in September when Tommy was hit in the intersection of Lander Avenue and East Glenwood in Turlock. The driver accused of hitting him, a 16-year-old boy who police say left the scene, but was tracked down by a witness who told him to go back. The teen eventually did, but fled again after allegedly being told by a relative identified as 36-year-old Rick Thomas to leave. Tommy's family wanting to know why. The adult. He told his nephew to keep on going and leave my son to die in a puddle of blood. That's going to be a hard one to forgive right now. I know I couldn't leave. I don't understand why anyone would. That's it. Tommy suffered a traumatic brain injury. Part of his skull is gone. But now several weeks later, he is able to talk. I just want to see how it Gabriel was doing. And smile again. It's amazing, Renee. His family eager to meet the person who followed the teen while staying strong in their faith. They're hoping Tommy is home just in time for the holidays. I know he's going to be home. And that's what I look for because that's what I'm seeing now.